What up, YouTube? Chief X with this Common Sense Science again. I'm still the God best. The God best protector of women and children. <laughs> so check this out, fam. I've been checking out the so-called conscious community or unconscious community, right? And I've just been checking y'all out the last week or so, right? And um, y'all cats is a bunch of weirdos. Let's just be real. <laughs> who no intellectual listen nobody who's considering themselves an intellectual debates people about flat earth I mean not just two hours three hours four hours five hours I've watched all week where niggas have talked for about a total of 35 hours arguing about flat earth. Debating about flat earth. Breathe for a minute and think about what I'm saying. And it's not like people who consider themselves intellectuals. It's not like they're debating another intellectual. These people are on panels with 15 different people debating people with mental health issues. Now I know I say the I say the I say mental health issues a lot. I'm I don't just throw that 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 throw that out there haphazardly. I'm dead serious. I worked in the field of mental health for 10 years years and all these cats on Sinetta's panel panels that brother Ankh be having any panels with about flat earth all these guys have serious mental health problems now um brother Sanchez the flat earth leader he doesn't have mental health problems I'm talking about these other motherfuckers. Y'all be back and forth with for 35 long hours. Brother, San Brother Sanchez is just a liar. He knows better. He's just good at his craft. He's good at deceiving. He's good at manipulating words and playing word games. He's good at that. But he's not, he doesn't have mental health problems. He's a sane man that just takes advantage of uneducated black folk. That's what that is with him. But these other people that you guys are going back and forth with, on Sinatters, with Ankh, with all, these guys are clearly have mental health problems. Like, <laughs> how do you see any white folk on a panel with 10 motherfuckers, chaos and chaotic, arguing with people who <laughs> are anti-science and just straight wackos. Like, you guys have to be able to tell that these people are crazy. I know you know better. But clout chasing is so profound not profound. It's so prevalent with you cats. Attention seeking is so prevalent with you. I've said for decades, Ankh and these cats will debate you. If you if you have Down syndrome, these niggas will go back and forth with you and debate you. Right? Look. So I haven't been watching it. But I see the debates and I may tune in for 15 minutes. And after 15 minutes, I just can't take no more. My IQ is getting lowered. I said, I can't do this. And I hit that motherfucking button and click off. I, I can't do it. I, I, <laughs> you guys have a, the lowest bar. And call yourselves intellectuals. Some of y'all call yourselves scholars and that's the furthest thing you are. 
I'm not no scholar. I've never, ever, 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 ever claimed to be a scholar. I'm the I'm not no goddamn scholar. Right? I just like to have intellectual conversations from time to time on social media. You have never seen Chief X have a debate with someone with mental health problems. I refuse to. Right? Now, sometimes I'll call on a panel and try to talk to and have a discussion with the person whose channel it is. And just so happened, the person who considers himself, let me, give, let me just give you an example. Smash Rockwell. <clears throat> right? Magi. I may come on his panel, and it just so happened he happened to have people with mental health problems on his panel. I'm not trying to go back and forth with these fucking idiots. I'm trying to have a discussion with Smash Rockwell and have an adult discussion. But somehow these fucking idiots get to intervening, cutting you off, talking nonsense, and shit just get out of hand. I always come on the panel and say, relax and breathe, people. Don't get nervous. I'm just trying to have a conversation. As soon as I get two sentences out, <laughs> here come chaos and niggas. Because when I come on a panel, you'll have three, four, five, six different people who's been waiting, waiting to get at me as soon as they see me on the panel. And, and, and this just emotional wreck shit comes out of them. And then it's just, it's just everything just turned to chaos. <laughs> like, let me say something. Brother Ankh. Like, Smash Rockwell. No, let me just not even leave Smash Rock. Because Smash Rockwell love these mental health people coming on this panel. Like Pan African James and Sabio. Like, you guys ever look at Sabio's Facebook uh, uh, profile? This dude is slow, 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 slow. You can look in his eyes and say, this motherfucker is disturbed. I'm not trying to clown it. I'm not, I'm not trying to throw shit. I'm being dead serious on my mama. You can tell Sabio is seriously disturbed and has very low self-esteem. Just go peruse his page and his pictures. This is a strange motherfucker. But you guys love these nutcases. Because they kiss your ass and they're yes men to you. So as long as the person with mental health problems is a yes man, you guys will put them on a panel to think you make, you're making yourself look good. To think you got people on your side. No real intellectuals are on any of you niggas' sides. They see the light. They see the truth. And they just sit back and watch and laugh at you. You know how many texts and of calls I get <laughs> when you guys, hey, Chief, look at these motherfuckers. Do, do you know how? Listen, Ankh considers himself an intellectual. I have no problem with him going having debates, but the subject matter is ridiculous. I have a five-year-old grandchild. She knows the Earth is round. If someone thinks the earth is flat, I would never in my life, if, if you gave me $100, I would turn it down to have an hour discussion with one of these fucking idiots. No way, Jose. No real intellectual would do that or even engage that type of dumb shit. That is shit is so fucking elementary. And then on top of that, these brothers are acting like they just have knowledge and they're just some know about astrophysics and all kind of shit. And you guys are just running your mouth, miseducating. Both sides are really miseducating the community and embarrassing black folk. When you get on these panels and 15 niggas is arguing about flat earth, do you know what some other races and some, if they just happen to see this or get a recommendation and tune on, do you know what they are saying about you black folk? These niggas is crazy. How are you guys helping 
make us look bad engaging in flat earth debates. You guys are that thirsty and don't give a fuck that much that you will do it anyway because you're clout chasing and seeking attention. This shit is like, this, this, the conscious community is a total embarrassment to black folk. It's one of the dumbest communities in black America. And they're supposed to be conscious and above. But no, I'm telling you on everything. It's one of the dumbest and most con uh, 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 um, mentally disturbed communities in all of black America. And I just can't believe that you guys... You now listen to what I'm saying. Let me say this. <clears throat> if I had a live stream, I have a panel. There's no more than four people are going to be in a panel. And that's a lot. But no more than four people would ever be on my panel. After four people, it's total chaos. It's people just talking over each other. People just arguing. People saying the dumbest shit. <laughs> who does this? Like, like, I need you guys to sit back and say, who does this? Nobody but a bunch of ignorant black Americans who consider themselves conscious and woke. Um, um, Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson would never in his life debate anybody on some fucking flat earth. Intellectuals don't do that. Now, they make a, make a video, like I'm making a video just talking and explaining something to you. They make, make a video and explain something about flat earth, but this is just one individual talking to people on his own. He's not going to convene no panel of people Arguing some silly ass shit about flat earth. <laughs> Intellectuals do not behave in that manner. Because they're supposed to be above the fray. You guys have a low bar. And you think you're getting points. And you think you're making yourself look good. By arguing with nutcases. Like, sometimes, I'll tune in the Sonetta, right? Sonetta will have 10 niggas on a panel. Eight out of the 10 niggas will have their camera off. <laughs> like, ah, uh, Like, it's a bunch, it's, it, it's 10 niggas with cameras off. And just think of white folk, Mexican folk, anybody just tune in to watch a bunch of people arguing for four hours and invisible. <laughs> this shit is whack job shit. Eight out of ten niggas arguing and no faces. You can't even see no faces. Just a fucking name in a in a pitch in an avatar doing this. This shit crazy. You niggas is gone. But when a real one come through, niggas get to having a heart attack. I came on Smash Rockwell's channel two nights ago. Two days ago. Niggas was talking about Egypt and black Egypt. My subject that I jumped off. Niggas was talking about my subject that I jumped off two years ago. And they still got their panties in a bunch from the Black Egypt debunk video I made. So niggas have put in about 100,000 hours Talking about Chief X's claims and what Chief X said, but refuses to say his name, but this is just my topic. So I come up on there because they was lying on me and I had to straighten some things out. I, I, I had them niggas so frustrated, so all in the wrong, so they, they couldn't have, a, they, they can't have an answer to a simple question in two years. Name one black indigenous tribe to North Africa, Europe, Caucasus, the Near East, the Levant. In two years, nobody can name a tribe or nation that is a Negroid tribe or nation that is indigenous to any of the four or five lands I just said. 
The only land they touch is North Africa. They exclude the other ones because there's no way they can, it's no black indigenous people ever of Europe. It's no indigenous black folk of the Levant, the Near East, you know. So all Hebrew Israelites are wrong. All black Muslims are wrong. There's no, there's no indigenous black folk of the Caucasus. <laughs> they can't name one tribe, not one mini tribe or nation. And the only people they can even come close to naming, and they're they not even North African, is Nubians. <laughs> you guys feel miserable. So I came on that panel. Uh, 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 Smash Rockwell got to get nervous. His whole panel was nervous. They was trying to think of names, and all they can come up with was Nubians. Nomadics and shit. Niggas today, Beja and shit. <laughs> the Magis and shit, right? In these vast different types of Nubian tribes who if you look at their culture in 2023, niggas is living in a desert in poverty, in tents. Not even one house they have built. But they are the ancient Egyptians. <laughs> Show me a house any of them Nubians built. Niggas in 2023, cattle coats and shit. And you're talking about these were the originators of ancient Egypt. Niggas putting their head up under a cow's ass and letting a bull and a cow piss on his head. And he's doing this. Niggas drinking blood and urine and shit. But you talking about they the ancient Egyptians and they develop math and they... Ain't no Nubian developed no math to build shit in Egypt. You know who advanced math? Arabs. I'm looking at structures like the other day. I was watching um, a documentary, not a documentary. It was a, um, um, you, no, no, it was a Facebook group about ancient um, 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 artifacts. And they just happened to show a, a, a crooked home in Europe in the 13s and 1400s. Fully constructed homes. You get what I'm saying? In the 13 and 1400s in Europe. Like, ask yourself, when niggas is on the Gold Coast, all in West and Central Africa, all up in the Congos and Nigeria areas, geographical areas to today, show me a home they built in the year 1900. So these cats were so far advanced, and you keep niggas just talking about, have you guys ever watched a documentary on the Beja? <laughs> And where and how they live. I almost shed a tear one day. These folks is living so bad. All in East Africa. And you talking about they the ones who built the pyramids and the sphinx and shit. But can't do no math today and build a goddamn home. Niggas are getting pissed on by cows and shit. Niggas ain't even manufacturing no clothing. Let me let's just be real for a second. People don't talk like this because they be trying to hide in front, you know, because they don't want they come everybody's in competition with white folk. And trying to compete with white folk as if they were better than or smarter than or more or more scientific later. They had things going on, but white folk did listen to us. If you go to Ghana and Nigeria and most areas of Sub-Saharan Africa, even in them East African tribes, when you see them with clothes on besides their their, their traditional, you know, gear or some loincloth or they naked and, and, and beads, and, besides all that, look at some clothes. 
They're all European and American made clothes. Why? Because these niggas never had advanced and had the sewing machine. And, and, and started making pants and shirts and shit. I'm arguing with a nigga on Facebook. And he said it was wrong to be wearing clothes and shit like this and that. We didn't have to do that. We was naked and we was in... <laughs> this is 2023. There's progress and advancement. And people develop a sewing machine and you can sew and make clothing and shit. These cats haven't even been manufacturing clothes. Name a sub-Saharan African country that manufactures a fucking car. A bike. But you built the pyramids. <laughs> All that tunneling and temples and tunneling and shit. In temples, magnificent shit. Way back three, four thousand years ago. Updated to 1300s and homes in Europe and shit. See, niggas like the front and want to bring up 10 buck two and shit. And niggas clown Islam and Islam. No, 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 no. And I remember people arguing about what Islam did to Sub Saharan Africa. Although enslavement went down, wrong as fuck, okay, cool, understandable, no disagreement. You guys were enslaving each other too. Everybody's enslaving each other. But a lot of these empires that were advanced in Sub-Saharan Africa or West Africa, like Timbuktu and shit, you know, they find these books and writings and shit in Timbuktu, all oh, that was from Arabs. Islam, if we want to just be real and honest, gave Sub-Saharan Africa a language, a written language. And with the written language, then people were able to communicate with each other. West Africa had oral tradition. They didn't have a written language like that until the Brits came. And then they developed a written language in English. Can we be real for a second, fam? This is not Shay. I know some people in their mind be like, oh, this nigga, he batting. I'm not bashing. I'm just telling you the truth. People need to accept it. There's a whole bunch of coat. Go to Brazil. They didn't have no written language. A lot of people didn't have no fucking written language. It... Three-fourths of the world was oral tradition. It's okay. <laughs> Breathe. Poverty everywhere, not just up to here in Africa. It's getting dark. <sighs> so, 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 so. All this clout chasing, you, you guys have to... You, so, you know, I, I've come to the conclusion that I know you people who are smarter than all these people with mental health problems. I know you guys know better. It's all clout chasing. And people trying to seem like they're superior than others. And you feel good that you're superior than a person with Down syndrome. That floats your boat. I came into the conscious community in 19... Well, they didn't call it a conscious community. Yeah. But I consider my flashpoint. Let me say that. My flashpoint was 1991. In 1995, I'm sitting here at Long Beach State listening to Khalid Muhammad lecture live on the art of war. It's not a lot of people that can in this community that can say they just sit up and watch 
got the Kyle Muhammad live and in color at universities. I go back there. So when niggas like Sabio and all these nutcases get to run in their mouth, I'm laughing. You guys have forced these nutcases to have more respect for I'm an elder to this bitch ass nigga. I'm way more wiser than the cat. I'm sitting here watching him give a lecture on the art of war at Long Beach State, 1995. Maybe 94. So I've seen the transformations. I'm a goddamn granddaddy. As a grandpa, you can't tell grandpa shit. Grandpa earned the right to critique and say what the fuck he wants. So when y'all, yeah, I can say what the fuck I want and I've earned the right to critique and check and correct. So when I say fuck certain people, or elders, or charlatans. I mean that goddamn shit, and I earn the right to say it. Shut your fucking mouth. See, sometimes grandpas don't give a fuck no more. It's a certain point when you get a certain age, you say, I don't give a fuck, and you say, fuck it. So I can say with a clear conscience and not be scared of you niggas, fuck the conscious community. You niggas is crazy. Although I'm part of the conscious community, and I can say that too. That's just real talk. I raised half you cats. And let's also be real on this. I see my side warrior can, uh, uh, Kofi Paisai, and these different channels. Everybody, uh, I'm, uh, Everybody's having these discussions that I jump-started first, and they were scared to even mention these topics. What you talking about, Chief X? Let's just be real. I was the first person in the community to go against the Moors and say Moors weren't black folk. Everyone was scared to death to make these kind of claims. They'll do it all day now because I jump-started their ass. And gave them some fucking confidence. Before Chief X, nobody ever made the claim that the Moors were not black people. They were Arabs and Berbers who conquered the Iberian Peninsula. And then were Arab dynasties who conquered Spain, the Iberian Peninsula. There was never ever no Negroid or Sub-Saharan tribe a West African tribe who, who, who were called Moors and conquered Spain. That was the most bullshit story ever. 100% of the conscious community fell for it. People started to know better, but nobody would ever say it because these niggas are scared. Niggas are scared of their social media friends. Grandpa say, fuck that shit, fuck you niggas. Moors were Arabs and Berbers, and Chief X was the first, and everybody now understands. I was the first, and I'm telling you, I got vid I'm going to do a video, it's probably tomorrow, and show you, and I bet you $100 on any claim I make right now, no one can prove me wrong. I got the video and the date, and nobody in the conscious community can predate it. I didn't say in the world of academia, I'm talking about this so-called conscious community. Nobody can predate me. I was the first. I was the first also in the conscious community to go up moors or what people now call abos. And I used to make videos on the Omex weren't black people. I was the first to ever say the Omex weren't black people. I bet I'll give you $100 if you prove me wrong. And I was the one who Garfield used to play this video looping, looping, looping. People used to always to play my video debunking. What was the title of it? Old Max are not blacks or some shit like this six years ago. And Garfield used to always play it because it was impressive. Everybody loved that video. It was janky, but at that time, nobody ever... And, I, and people used to always say for decades, there was braids in the back of the Old Max head hanging on the woman. I had to tell the country, no, they were not braids. Those were feathers, and they're attached to the helmet, not under the helmet, as hair. For decades, everybody thought they were braids. Until Chief X came out and said, no, those are feathers. The Native Americans represented and honored the Quetzal feather, with a Q. Quetzal feather. 
That's why the Native Americans have these feathers and shit. And I broke that shit out. Nobody knew it or ever said that. I said no blacks ever came to America prior to Cumbo, uh, prior to the slave trade in Christopher Columbus. No black folk ever, ever, ever were anywhere in the Western Hemisphere. I was the first. We didn't travel. Nobody would ever say that. And Chief X was the first one. Now everybody all said. Right now today, niggas just had two different lectures on black folk didn't travel to the Americas. Kofi Paisai, I was the first one to come out with that. And if you, I will pay you $100 if you can prove me wrong. Wait till the video tomorrow. I'll show you. I'm the first person to come out now and say the Egyptians ain't black. And I'm fucking right and everybody knows it now. But now everybody's just playing a game after I done proved everybody wrong and nobody can name no Negro a tribe. Now everybody's just what I call, they just putting on now. Because they got this, what, what you call it? It's called foolish pride. Even Sinetta knows. No, Sinetta don't know because Sinetta doesn't. Sinetta has some kind of block up here. He's good at what he do, but Sinetta's not an intellectual. I mean, Sinetta can listen to information and won't remember it at all. <laughs> he remembers what he wanna remembers and he remembers drama and people and personalities. He remembers that. But as far as scholarship is not Sinetta's thing. He allows you guys to do that. He debates the basic things, like he'll debate stuff NOI, stuff Christianity and logic Christianity stuff, but he's not like an intellectual and stuff like that, because you know. So Sonetta actually may believe a lot of this stuff. But he does have doubt right now. I've put doubt in everybody's mind. Let me tell you something. <laughs> you can think people don't watch my shit. But anybody of note watches every, well, Sonetta don't, because Sonetta just into whoever's popular. But anybody of note, as far as the elders and everybody, they watch every one of my uh, 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 YouTube videos. Professor Smalls, uh, uh, Umfadishi, uh, uh, Tony Browder, everybody alive, Renoko Rashidi, because they're all my Facebook friends and they see my posts. Some of them have moved and we blocked and unfriended me and shit like that. But they never could get past things I would say. So they act like I don't exist. I've exposed Tony Browder for blatant lies and intentional lies and talking about the Indinkra symbol in, 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 in Egypt. And he still hasn't answered that video. He still hasn't proved that there was any Indinkra symbol in Egypt. He made up a bold faced lie. So, they have this, they watch me. Ask Cat watches me. But don't say. Listen what I'm telling you. These cats be Facebook friends. We've had into me, me and Infadishi has went back and forth on Facebook and he's been embarrassed and just left and leaves me the fuck alone. Uh, uh Ronoko Rashidi blocked my inbox because eight years no not eight years ago, seven years ago, I inv invited Roko Rashidi to have a science discussion on a blog talk radio show with, with, when I was down with the Amin Ra squad. He got so scared, I said, why don't you guys talk to the, what I call junior elders? Or those who, 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 who come after you. We, you know, we like to have certain discussions. I was inviting them to have a discussion on blog talk radio. With people like me, Ankh, Wujaru, and you know, uh, I'm, I'm uh, Satim Osiris. And say, I just, we just wanted to have a conversation with him. Renoko Rashidi knows he's been spitting so much bullshit for years. He refused to and got scared and, ended, and he blocked me because I invited him in a, in a peaceful way. <laughs> That's how I know a lot of these elders be jive turkeys because they know this generation of people in the, in the community are kind of getting into science. And he can't just sit here and give lectures and talk when we talking to him and tell you the Dravidian or black people. <laughs> Hold on. He can't get away with a lot of that stuff he do when he do his picture games and do picture lectures and shit with no scholarship. Rest in peace. I like Renoko Rashidi. You know, I grew up on him. But Renoko Rashidi do a, 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 a two-hour presentation and tell you show you nothing but pictures and talk to you. 
And here you are, wow, these nice pictures, wow, you know, wow. And, he, and he's just telling you his story and what he thinking. Just telling you the Afrocentric narrative and shit. <laughs> so when you talk science, they disappear. When you want to talk migration and evolution and things of that nature, they disappear. And he got afraid and he blocked me, right? So I didn't forget my goddamn point. I just went off on a rant now. I'm just sitting here talking. <laughs> Shit. Um, but what was my goddamn point before I went off on a tangent? Hmm. It's that Captain Black. It's that old school shit. Um, oh, so um, what did I make this video for? <laughs> um, so look here. Oh, I know what's all these cats watch my videos. So when I'm killing the Amin Ra squad, and I'm, they seeing all this shit. So all these cats know the gig is up. So everybody's just putting on and playing the game now because of foolish pride. You, it's just say, for instance, a person has taught something for 30 years. Every day, all day. You know what I mean? And you made it off this information you've been teaching all your life. You made your living. You made your living off this information. And for one day, someone to come around all out the blue and debunk it. There's no way you can turn back. You will feel like you're fraud. And foolish pride kicks in. You can't change. Because then people don't want to say, you know what? People don't want to feel like... People want to think they everybody to think they're smart. Nobody wants to say, you know what? No, excuse me. Nobody wants all these people to say, you know what? You were just wrong. <laughs> you didn't know what you was talking about. Or, and or you lied. So foolish pride is with everybody. Listen, family. The gig is up. Whether you want to believe it or not. Now, outside of people who of note in just these nutcases that be in chats and shit and uh, 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 um, all in the, in, in the comment section and chat and just your everyday, all these nutcases, people who y'all, they may not see my shit. They don't know. But everybody of note knows. And they watch every single video. I'm in Ross Squad members. Watch all my videos. There's no I'm in Ross Squad, but you know what I mean. All the people, all the elders who are alive, watch my videos. The gig is up, family. I'm trying to tell you. It, you it, it's, it's, you're not going to be able to hold out too much longer. Just how you came around about the Moors. And, and you know now, just how you came around, and now you all talk and know now that the uh, 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 we never came to the Americas, or even the story, right? These elders, all these elders I'm talking about who's alive right now, they still teach that the Egyptians came to America. Not just West Africans came to America. They say the Egyptians. <laughs> 3,100 years ago alone. No, 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 no. Let, let's be real. The story is like nine, within 10,000 years, Egyptians was coming to the America. Tony Browder teaches this. All Infodici teaches this. Uh, 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 uh. Even uh, uh, Professor Smalls teaches this. That the Egyptians came to the America. In 2023, they teach this. On my mama, I got videos proving this. I'm not just talking. Can you imagine? And then I throw this question out here. This question shook everybody on Facebook one day. A lot of y'all on YouTube may not understand. I said... The ancient Egyptians didn't even know that there was a Western Hemisphere. They had no fucking clue. You know what the Western Hemisphere is. <laughs> I said the ancient Egyptians didn't even know there was a Western Hemisphere. And I'll pay anybody a hundred bucks if you can prove they did. Silence. Niggas thought these niggas was international all world ass niggas. How they gonna come to the Americas? They didn't even know it and know Americas was fucking here. Plus, 
Nobody even thought to say or get a fucking map and sit. If you get a map and just actually look at a map, that would tell you right there it's impossible for them even to get to <laughs> to America. This is what I'm saying. People have been snowed this long. People have been in a cult this long that they didn't know to look at a map, see the location of Egypt is in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. It's all, you can't even get out to get to the Americas. The only way that... Uh, sh- <laughs> Just let me mention this. Look at a map and tell me, how can a, a person from Egypt in the Mediterranean even get to America? It's, Ill, it's, it's not even logically, po- logistically possible. A person from a, a Western Europe would have to get to the Americas. Egypt didn't even know a Western Hemisphere exist, existed, let alone America. <laughs> it's that deep. These men still teach that. So this is called miseducating black folk. So when we say these things, intelligent academics, scholars, educated people, all these kids, whites, black, Mexicans, Africans, even. Have you ever got been to a fucking university? UCLA, USC? These universities? They're fucking multicultural. There's Asians, there's Mexicans, there's fucking Samoans, Koreans, Russians, uh, 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 Englishmen, uh, all kind of people at these universities. So there's no such thing as white man knowledge anymore. Like I'm showing articles and threw some sources up to some people and say it's oh, a white man. Didn't even know the article was written by a fucking Asian. What do you think these kids are going to these universities for the last 20, 20 years? You don't think they're writing articles or in the fields and shit? Everybody thinks all these sources and shit is coming from white people. It's not. I'm just giving you some logic. So now when you guys share sources, look and see who the author or the writer is. Or who done the research. I'm telling you one third of the time it's going to be an Asian. With these Arab or oriental type Asian, you know, Japanese. These kids have been universities. Like you guys don't have professional friends. That's how I know people don't have professional friends. They say the craziest things. Like I got sisters who are the RN, my lady friends, I got master's degrees in education, uh, assistant principal. I got uh, uh, my one of ex girlfriend who's a, a PhD, got a PhD in vision science. And I mean, I have, I've been in real estate. I used to make, I mean, I got professional friends. And these are good people. So people get to talking and shit, oh, these motherfucking scars lying. No. Like, that's like, that's, that's like, I have to give this analogy now. It's like a professional basketball player. Listen, a professional basketball player, he's not intentionally, you know, trying to miss some shots. Niggas trying to start and do good. Niggas trying to win and be champions. Be champions. It's the same in the world of academia. You ain't trying to fuck up no work and you shit and you getting peer reviewed. You're doing dissertations to see if you can get your doctor degrees. And people are trying to make it and do right work and correct work. This ain't the fucking 19th century. It's 2023. So the Eurocentrism talk is dead. Only Afrocentrism continues. There's no Eurocentrism. There's no Eurocentric scholarship. In 2023. You can't even get your master's degree dissertations and what they, what's that one called? Um, I can't think. To get your doc. If you fail in writing some fucked up information, some bad research in line, this is not no game. This is real life. People putting real academic work out here. So all oh, this, they, they lying, white man and government. Now that's bullshit. That's that spook shit you niggas been on that these elders been throwing down your throat. Paranoia is a mental health disease. Did you know that? Paranoia is paranoia is a mental health condition. When you get to talking about conspiracy and the government and they lying and white men, that's a mental health condition. It's called paranoia. The gig is up. <laughs> I'm out.